Hi, I'm Lenny Wells, Extension Horticulturist for Pecans at the University of Georgia. And since I can't go to every county and do a pecan pruning clinic, and I can't obviously come to every orchard and uh, show you how to prune your trees, I wanted to take this opportunity to make a video that may make, thing, make things a little easier for you. There are two main things to remember about pruning pecan trees. Number one, everyone has a different opinion about how pecan trees need to be pruned. And number two, any pruning is better than no pruning. We have so many newly planted trees out there, um, I thought it would be best to go ahead and start with pruning trees going into their second year of production. Um, there's not a whole lot to say about this, it's a pretty simple process at this point. All you really want to do is bring this tree back to one central leader again, um, and your scaffold limbs, you'll worry about developing that the following year. We want to bring this tree back in line with what the root system can support that'll make the tree more vigorous uh, going forward. So you can see here we've got a couple of uh, problems with this tree. We've got uh, a very narrow angle here, a V coming off here where the shoot started growing after uh, the, the growing season started last year. So basically we want to take everything off of this except one central leader. So you would just pick out which one of these is the straightest, strongest shoot uh, coming up and take everything else off and I'll show you what I'm talking about with this. Now after we've trained everything back to one central leader what we need to do is cut the top out of that tree again to allow the bud that we leave at the very top uh, to continue growing that central leader. To tell where to cut, make this cut, you'll look at the top of the chute and you see where these buds are clustered closely together. What you do is you come down below that to where these buds start spacing out a little bit more and choose one of these as your bud that you will leave to make your central leader and cut it about an inch or so above that bud. Now because all trees are going to grow differently, you're going to have different sizes out in your orchard, um, it may get a little confusing pruning a really small one compared to a larger one. So I wanted to do one small one to give you an idea of what to do. Your goal is still the same, you just make smaller cuts. So we want to take this back again to just one central leader. Again, we top the tree to promote that central leader growth going forward. So we're left with a smaller tree, but you're still helping this tree because you're bringing it back in line with what the root system can support. Anytime you've had a young tree the first year that doesn't grow off as well, it's usually because the root system for one reason or another has not been able to get established as well as it may have on another tree. 